In this video, I'm going to chat about the sensors on the Blair Digital Chanter and why the individual customization and control are key features. And I'll go over the key principles so you can learn how to easily adjust them. The Chanter is a professional instrument and with that, there's an expectation that the settings can be adjusted to the way you want them. Everything from the likes of pitch, drone volume, pan, reverb, and the individual sensors can be adjusted. Now, because there's actual finger holes like a regular bagpipe, the digital chanter needs to be set up to the way you play. This involves tuning each individual sensor hole to each of your fingers. Now the sensors work by detecting your fingers and how they move, which can vary depending on how long you've been playing for, if you're tired or even if you're faced with a difficult tune. An example would be when playing an easy tune compared to a hard one where your fingers might tense up. Another would be learning a tune at a slow tempo with nice clean open fingering compared to playing a tune you've been playing for years. Another factor is your skin may change depending on what you've been during the day and the sensor sees this. Now if I was washing dishes all day and thankfully I haven't been or I'd been working in the garden then it's possible my skin might loosen up or become hard and the sensor would see this. That's an extreme example but something to note. Those elements I've just mentioned will differ from every piper and it's why the chanter needs to be tuned to the characteristics of your fingers. That's really important. The digital chanter also works the same way as a regular bagpipe. And by that I mean if your thumb is not covering the high A hole, then notes below it won't sound. It's the same as you move down the scale. For example, if you get down to D and then there's no notes below D sounding, then that D sensor is the one that's not seeing your finger. To set up the sensors, there are three key principles. The first one, when a sensor isn't detecting your finger, it's because the value of that sensor has been set too high and you might have to press harder into the hole for the sensor to actually see your finger. If you decrease that value, which is usually into the negative range, then you won't have to press as hard and it will raise the trigger point where your finger is seen. The second one, when you're playing grace notes but not hearing them, or you feel there's a delay after playing a grace note, or a tune for that matter, then sensors on those notes corresponding to those fingers are likely to have values set too low. Therefore, the value needs to be increased, which sets the detection point of your finger closer to the hole. Now, the sensors detect incredibly fast, faster than what we can pick up by our ears. So when they're set correctly, there's absolutely no delay. A really important tip is to allow a tolerance for any physical changes in your hands. Often sensors are set too finely and you can return the next day needing to start all over again. So allow some tolerance. Now the way to go about that will be playing easy tunes, hard tunes, doublings, exercises, tunes at different tempos, making sure that we never miss a grace note or any doubling because we just don't do that, do we? So to recap on the sensors, when a note isn't sounding, it's likely because the sensor has been set too high so decrease its value. When grace notes aren't sounding or you need to lift fingers high off the chanter, it's because a sensor's value has been set too low, so you need to increase it. And finally, always allow that tolerance, giving your fingers some breathing space if there's any variations from day to day. Now lastly, ALR. It's a feature to turn on if you're playing outside in extreme sunlight, and generally there's no need to use it indoors. The chanter is a professional instrument and can be used by pipers young and old. Like a lot of technology, once the basic principles are learned, they're really easy to understand. The music you're hearing in the background has all been played on the chanter. If anyone has any problems with the setup, always let us know by sending an email via the website and we'll help out.